Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan here. Today I'm going to be talking about sharpening knives. A few of you guys have mentioned on a few of my other videos about how it would be an interesting idea to show how I sharpen my knives. Um, yeah, I didn't want to do it earlier because I felt like I didn't have the right tools to do it. And my previous sharpening stones kind of look like this. Pretty big bow in them. For this video, I picked up something off Amazon. I picked up uh, a brand new sharpening stone. It's a ceramic stone, so it's gonna last a little bit longer than a traditional clay stone. So this is what the ceramic stone looks like. It's a ceramic whetstone. It's a 2000 grit. A 1000 grit is pretty much all you need for a stone. I decided to go for a 2000 just because it's a ceramic. It works a little bit faster than a traditional clay stone. And it comes with a really cool little stand. Just pop it on here, rubber pads on the bottom, and then it will stick right to your surface. You don't need to have a towel underneath it, but I'll show you how to get set up here right away. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna soak our stones. I have my three stones inside the sink here. We have one ceramic stone, which I just got today, and then two of my older stones, which are clay stones. Um, a two 1,000 grits, and then you flip them over, one's a 3,000 and one's a 6,000. So when we soak our stones, what we're looking for is the water to be absorbed by the clay or by the ceramic. So we can tell that this is done when the bubbles have stopped. You want to keep the stone damp as you're sharpening, so it's good to have a little bowl of water beside you. So because my clay stones don't quite fit this holder, there's a little bit of room, I'm going to be using a cloth here. And then I'm going to start off by using the Turing stone just to give it a little bit of a better shape so that the sharpening is easier. Uh, I've got the 6,000 grit here, 1,000, and then I have the 3,000 grit on the white side and then the 1,000 grit on the red side. So now, on to the sharpening. I'm going to be sharpening this knife today, my Sujihiki. I believe it's a stainless carbon composite. Um, I'm going to be using the 2000 grit um, right away. I know that it's pretty sharp, but I just want to get it a little bit sharper. And I thought I'd just take this opportunity to show you guys how I do it. So we're going to start off by wetting your stone a little bit. I'm just going to take straight from the sink a little bit of water, well, a little bit slidey. First thing that I do when I sharpen my knife is I work lengthwise along the bevel. I'm just going to press straight down right on the bevel here. So the bevel for this knife starts at the cladding. So I'm going to do about 15 to 20 full length passes and you can see already on the stone that it's giving a little bit of the grit. This is the knife being eroded on this ceramic stone. We want to keep that grit on there so you can see that there's a little bit of grit left over from the knife on the stone already. I did about 20 passes so that's about all I need to do to get a little bit of this muddy stuff working. This is actually what's going to be sharpening the knife, is the little grits. The more of that we have in a nice consistency like this, the better. We don't want it to get too thick, because otherwise it will just clog up and not really do too much. So we're going to add a couple of drops of water just to keep it a nice consistency like this. Next, I'm going to be compartmentalizing. I'm going to be sharpening the middle portion, the lower and upper, all in different parts. Just pressing evenly, nice here couple fingers along the bottom and slowly working my way up the knife. You can see how the stone it's a little bit dry it's not the muddy consistency anymore so we're gonna add a little bit of water. Now working the middle portion with a ceramic one I give about 10 passes on each portion now I'm gonna be working the tip for about 10 passes. So now I've individually worked the bottom, middle, upper and the tip. So four different spots, I'm gonna be doing that on the other side after I do my 10 passes of full length. So now I've done both sides, bottom, middle, upper and the tip. So I'm gonna be doing 25 full length passes on one side, then switching over to the other side and doing 25. Then I'll do 20 from the first side, 20 from the second, and counting down by five until I'm at 10. Then I'll do 10, nine, eight, seven, so forth, until it's even. I want both sides to be perfectly even, so that's why I started at a high number and worked down. So now my knife should be sharp, but the way we check is just we're gonna run our finger up the side like this on either side and if we see an overhang on either side we're just gonna work out that little kink yeah I said kink 
And the final way I'm gonna test this is by slicing through a piece of paper. If it starts to get stuck at any point when I'm slicing through the paper, I know I need to sharpen that part a little bit more. But with this one, I think it's gonna be pretty sharp. So I live in a paperless household, but I found this receipt from Mintage, a thrift store. So basically we're just gonna be using that. And the way to test is we're not gonna slice directly beside our fingers. We're gonna hold it a little bit further out so that it has a little bit more resistance from the paper. That's a sharp knife. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. Let's try it again. Not bad. So it looks like it's getting stuck a little bit, but that's just because of the angle I'm holding. Um, not too bad. So this is a longer knife, so I do have more surface area to work with. And it is the technique that I'm doing. I'm using the whole blade. Let's see if we just go from... Not bad. Try the bottom. Not too bad. Pretty happy with it. So yeah, that's my technique. Basically do 10 full passes of the blade, work here, 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 and then the tip, and then flip it over to the other side like that. And then finally 25 passes, flip, 25 passes, 20, 20, 15, 15, 10, 10. And then you can work your way down from 10 flipping each side. I don't recommend honing your knife after doing this. Only hone your knife when you're feeling it's starting to get a little bit dull or before you use it. Yeah, um, this is obviously a little bit easier because of the larger bevel. If you have a knife like this, where the bevel is almost non-existent, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to sharpen, which is why I do recommend investing in a knife with a larger bevel. It just makes it easier to sharpen so you can save that money, keep it sharp yourself. All right, guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below and I'll do my best to respond to them. Um, or you can tag me on Instagram with your pick and yeah, I'll do my best to give you guys some recommendations. Um, if you have any knife, questions or what knife to buy you can check out my other video on that and yeah i hope you guys have a great day and uh keep your knife sharp all right peace